Hey, today we're going to be answering the question, can you clean oxidized sterling silver items in an ultrasonic without removing that layer of, of tarnish or oxidization? In many cases, you might have a piece like this where the oxidized finish adds to the appeal of the jewelry or helps to highlight a design and you don't want that removed, but you do want to clean any gunk off of the jewelry. So best way to figure this out is we're gonna go over to the ultrasonic. I have a small handful of pieces here and we're gonna try a couple of different things and see if that oxidized layer is removed by cleaning the ultrasonic or not. So all the stuff I've got here is all just old scrap pieces. I've got a silver spoon, which is not pure silver. This is about 75% silver. And you can see it's got a nice layer of tarnish on it. This is an old eagle casting and it's been polished, but also oxidized. On the back, it's completely oxidized. So for these two pieces, I'm just going to go ahead and toss them right in here like that. And I'm not gonna bother with any kind of hook or anything. I've got it heated up to 80 degrees Celsius. The eight is burnt out on my machine, which is why it just says zero, but it is at 80 degrees Celsius. And so with these others, I'm going to, these are rings here. You can see this one is silver, sterling silver with oxidized in the details. This one is a uh, palladium silver with oxidization in the details. And this one is just a rough casting. The whole thing has been oxidized. No polished finish at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and take one of these here and I'm gonna isolate it in a Ziploc bag. And we're gonna put some distilled water in the bag and then just let it sort of float around in the ultrasonic and you can do this if you want to isolate your finished pieces and keep them from rattling around on the bottom of the ultrasonic and it's especially helpful for keeping the actual liquid in the ultrasonic clean just a little tip there so there we go i'm just going to put that in there i haven't turned it on yet these other two i'm going to do well, one of them i'm just going to plop in there so I'm going to take the totally oxidized one, pop it in there. That's one I know is sterling silver because I made it myself. Last one, I got another Ziploc here and I'm going to do a little bit of Windex. And I'm going to, this one also I want to point out, it's, it's a scrap ring. It's actually cracked here. So I'm going to put that in there. I'm not going to worry about how the crack performs in the ultrasonic. I'm just worried about the tarnish. Put a little water in here. So it's going to be about 30% Windex and 70% distilled water. You definitely want to make sure when you're using the Windex, you're not using Windex with bleach in it. You don't want to use bleach with your jewelry. So let's go ahead and plop that in there. Now, before I start the machine, I do want to point out that this just has water in it right now, no cleaning chemicals. And the tarnish on the silver is actual tarnish. It's not a coating or a brush on. It's actually uh, oxidized silver. So that's what we're testing to see if that layer wears off. So I'm going to run this for five minutes. And we'll come back when that's right. Hey there, we're back. Our five minutes is up. I've pulled each piece out of the ultrasonic here. And I've gotten to sit here on the towel. So as you can see, the tarnish appears to be intact on all of them. This was the one in the Windex. And just to kind of show that the finish here hasn't weakened, you can brush it with a toothbrush. No effect. Here's the one that was completely tarnished and it still has its black tarnished coating. Oxidized silver and brush finish ring here. 
Again, tarnish is not loose. It has not changed. It hasn't de de uh, changed in color or hue. Thing looks good. Here's the silver spoon also. No change whatsoever in the finish. And finally, the eagle. Still a little wet, but the tarnish is all there. It also hasn't caused the, anything to tarnish more than it already was. So there you have it. The answer is yes, you can put your oxidized silver jewelry in an ultrasonic without worrying about the tarnish going away, which is also a good point to make that if you're trying to get rid of tarnish, an ultrasonic cleaner is not going to get rid of tarnish unless you use a tarnish remover. There are products that do that, but this video is about keeping the tarnish. And while I've got you here, it's important to remember that if you also want to get a good clean finish on some hard to reach places, you can take your piece here and along with some tweezers such as this, you can hold the piece in the ultrasonic while it's running and gently scrub it here while it's uh, under the tarnish and that will help or under the ultrasonic and that will help to clean the jewelry um, so that's it for today i could do a whole another video on the pros and cons of ultrasonics and what to put in there and what not to but for today we're going to keep it nice and simple thanks for watching